Please find a comfortable spot. We want to get started. We have uh, a very important program for you at a very important time. Another important time in the history of our nation. We want to begin this morning, though, with a recognition of our ancestors and this land. Sego, Aguigo, Patricia Tano, Ikok Peshni, Ichui, Yon Yats. Good morning, everybody. My name is Patricia, and we want to begin by recognizing that we're in Ohlone territory and that this is the sacred land of the Ohlone people. And so we send love and gratitude to the ancestors of this space and also to the Ohlone people living now who have shared their space with us. Um, we are grateful for the opportunity to be welcomed as settlers into a space that has had a vibrant life and community for thousands and thousands of years time, since time immemorial. And we also want to send love and gratitude to all of our relatives, the non-human relatives, all of these trees and plants and animals who live under the pressure of the toxins that are poured into this land all the time. And so we send them love and gratitude for maintaining as much beauty as they can. And we send love and gratitude to the relatives, the human relatives who live here and who live in sacrifice zones all over the world, who are on the front lines of the late stage capitalism and its, its um, impacts on us as a community. And so we begin with gratitude and love and courage because as we move through this moment in history, like those who came before us, it will require courage and strength and compassion. And so we welcome all of those things today as we share this time together. And so, as Wilson said, we have a very tight schedule. And so we're going to begin by welcoming Marilea Kelly, who's the Executive Director of Tri-Valley Cares, who has been a researcher, writer, and facilitation for over 30 years. She, she has testified before the Liver Livermore Lab and the U.S. Nuclear Weapons Complex. Marilea has testified before Congress and the California Legislature and the National Academy of Sciences. And she participated in this year's negotiations at the UN on the Treaty on Pro Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. She was inducted into the Alameda County Women's Hall of Fame in 2002, and she lives here in this sacrifice zone and has since 1976. Thank you. Welcome. Before I speak, one of our uh, members who we share with Veterans for Peace is going to read a brief poem that he wrote. Oh, wonderful, Fred. Good morning. Sorry, Good morning, Fred. I forgot to say your name. My name is Fred Norman. I'm with Dry Valley Cares and Veterans for Peace. And I have uh, uh, an infamous, uh, infamous distinction of actually being a navigator bombardier uh, whose job it was to drop these horrible uh, devices. Something I'm ashamed of. This is called Nakazaki Days. Every night I ask myself, what did I do today to eliminate nuclear weapons? If any night the answer back is nothing, then once again I revisit history. A face melts, eyes evaporate, skin slumps, slews, bones beach, bleach white in smoking flesh, the living disappear, dead before death. Yesterday, a flash of supernova light, a roar of silence. 
today, responsibility. Tomorrow, I cannot face tomorrow unless today I act to rectify the past. I'm going to read you a short quote that I believe is on your mind and your heart as it is on mine. This is our president, an unstable man, yes. speaking from a New Jersey, his New Jersey golf club, threatening North Korea with, quote, fire, fury, and frankly, power the likes of which this world has never seen before. My job today is to talk a little bit about why we are here, and I start with that. We are here today to commemorate the, the attack with nuclear weapons on Hiroshima and on Nagasaki, today being Nagasaki Day. We are here to stand with the survivors of that attack. We are here to mourn and commemorate the victims. But we are also here to speak truth to power at this place on this day. We are here to stop the next nuclear war before it starts, my friends. And we are here at this location because we understand if we are going to rid the world of the threat of nuclear war and even the likelihood at some point of nuclear war and the potential annihilation of life, we know the only way to address that threat is the total abolition of nuclear weapons. There are no right hands for wrong weapons. We are here today to take a step toward the global elimination of nuclear weapons. Thank you for being here, my friends. I want to say a couple of words about this ground on which we stand, this fence that we stand right next to and what's going on inside the fence. Right now, and I mean now, today, U.S. weaponeers at Livermore Lab are busy designing a new warhead for a new long-range standoff weapon. Let me just say a couple sentences about what is a long-range standoff nuclear weapon. It is intended, intended to be radar evading. It is intended to be able to be launched from thousands of miles from the target. It is intended to be a sneak nuclear attack detonating on an unsuspecting population. And you want to hear in light of what Trump said yesterday what the Pentagon says why they want this new weapon. It is to give a future United States president every option to use any kind of a nuclear weapon in a conflict situation. We are here to stop the development of the new warhead for the, lo for the long range standoff nuclear weapon. And by the way, these are Mach W80-4, which is the name of the warhead they're designing right now at Livermore. You are here with your presence, with your energy, with your spirit, with your bodies to say no to this. Livermore Lab right now this year is spending more than a billion dollars on nuclear weapons activities. That budget is slated to actually go up next year. And if you have a moment and can carry a piece of paper with you, this is Livermore Lab's budget request for next year. I'll just tell you the blue is nuclear weapons activities and the tiny slivers you can see is everything else 
including non-proliferation, including a tiny sliver for actual science. We're here to change this completely. Thank you for being here today to be part of doing that. I want to pivot very briefly to something positive. We're here at a historical juncture where there is escalating nuclear danger, but there is also escalating pressure for global nuclear disarmament. Earlier this year, I was at the United Nations, as were some of the members of other groups here, at the negotiations on a treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. On July 7th of this year, that treaty was adopted. Do you want to hear the vote? 122 nations for, one abstention, one against. The overwhelming number of nations in the world say nuclear weapons are unacceptable, they are now illegal, and we must work toward their actual physical dismantlement and elimination. We will deliver this treaty, all 10 pages, to the lab. You can read it on the laboratory gates where it will be hung. We asked the lab director to meet us at the gates today. And the lab director replied, and I appreciate, I honestly appreciate that he responded. He replied that we should take our discussion to talk to the U.S representatives at the UN period. And I'm going to read two sentences because I'm over, over time, but I want to read two sentences from our response to his reply. Here's what we wrote. We wrote that we do talk to our representatives at the United Nations and we will continue to do so. But Livermore Lab is a proper and necessary forum to discuss nuclear disarmament in general and the implications of the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons in particular. Indeed, nuclear weapons activities that Livermore Lab conducts at its main site here in Livermore and at its Site 300 High Explosives Testing Range near Tracy make it not merely an appropriate location but an imperative location to have this discussion. With your bodies, you are forcing this discussion today. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you, Mayor Leah. We really appreciate Mayor Leah and her consistency, her focus, her intensity. It's what we all need. We believe in peace. 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 Salam shalom. Peace salam shalom. Peace salam shalom. Peace salam shalom.